Hi there, everyone. I'm here today with Jeff Reeves, lead writer and editor of Investor Place, to talk a little bit about the Yahoo Tumblr deal that's making headlines this week. So, Jeff, I saw your recent article. You called the move a boneheaded move, point blank. So, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about why you're not a big fan of this acquisition? Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, um, I'm kind of skeptical of a lot of these, whatever you want to call them, Web 2.0 thing. My, uh, my, my fundamental issues, you know, kind of broadly speaking with the merger are, number one, that Tumblr doesn't make any money, and that that's a serious concern. They're going to have to figure out how to, to make, it, make it make money. Um, that number two, um, there's kind of this culture clash between Carp and his not really worried about display ads and money, and then Yahoo, which is very much focused on how to make that business uh, kind of it again. And then last but not least is that Yahoo has this kind of big culture drag that is the declining portal model, deflationary market for display ads anyway for advertisers, cost per clicks, all that. The naive investor is like, oh, well, this is a great deal because it's this sexy tech marriage and then we can get in on it and ride the growth to infinity and beyond. And I mean, that's, it's just not realistic. So. Well, and also I feel like David Carr, the CEO of Tumblr, didn't want to make money, right? It's been one of his big things the whole time that he didn't want to put ads on the site. Do you think that'll cause an issue? Yeah, I mean, that's actually one of the big debates that's going on right now in, in a lot of kind of VC communities is like the, these web properties start up and they never have an idea of making profits. So They're all just like, oh, if you build it, the users will come and the users will find value and you'll have this great footprint and a social presence and then blah, 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 we make money. <laughs> and it's like, it's very important if you're a publicly traded company and if you're an investor investing in publicly traded companies to figure out how you connect the dot. It's fine if, you know, Carper's running it out of his basement and he doesn't really care, but once you become, you know, kind of part and parcel of becoming a, a subsidiary of a publicly traded company is that the dollars have to be there, it has to make sense. If it doesn't, then it's just, it's not a good investment, it's a vanity project. You can't keep Tumblr in its current form. So are you gonna put display ads everywhere? You know, Tumblr made no money, it basically broke even uh, last year. If you wanted to put display ads on every single page and get like a remnant CPM forum of like, you know, maybe a dollar and a half, two bucks, you could make a hundred million dollars a year. But at $1.1 billion, it takes, 11, or it takes 11 years for that 1.1 billion to be paid for. And then for a company like Yahoo, I mean, is a hundred million dollars really gonna move the needle enough where investors are gonna be over the moon? I mean, let's make no bones about it. The reason the stock has gone up is because of its ownership stake and Alibaba group, this Asian internet um, enterprise that's going really, really well. That's not a rounding error. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna burn the house down to try to get money that won't really move the needle? Or are you just gonna leave it alone and then just admit you won't move the needle? So, I mean, I think they're in a very tough spot. It's, it's aspirational. Um, they wanna make it look like they're part of the younger, hip internet generation. But you're right, I mean, some of those younger people the, the brand Yahoo has some tarnish with them, and they may not stick around, especially if there's advertising all up in their business. Well, especially, I think, if you're saying it will take 10 years to pay off. I mean, Tumblr might not even exist in 10 years. It probably won't be cool anymore in 10 years, I wouldn't think. Yeah, you remember MySpace? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> things like this happen all the time. And, you know, that's not to say that these properties can't catch on and find a revenue stream, you know, but I would caution people to be too optimistic. It's, it's a glorified blogging platform. I mean, the, the, the biggest value it provides now is gives you sweet visuals and a customizable interface and it's not cluttered with ads. And you mess with that experience, you mess with the user base and it just doesn't work. See, I also kind of wonder though, everyone's talking about users possibly fleeing Tumblr. I saw one headline that was about a petition was signed, like 170,000 people didn't want it. There's 110 you know, million blogs on Tumblr. Do you kind of think that being in the finance world and being in the media world, we're kind of oversensitive to how users are gonna freak out and run from it? Yeah, I mean, I. I I do think that there is that, you know, kind of you see what you want to see type of thing. Um, especially because, you know, as an ad-supported site, and you know, with InvestorPlace.com, we know full well the challenges of digital media and we project that. That's not to say we should ignore uh, the past track record because the declining portal model and what we've seen from some of these other companies, whether it's MySpace or Facebook or whatever, I mean, they're internet fads and they paid $1.1 billion for what could be an internet fad and could never really hit the bottom line. So. I mean, I'm, I'm not running out, I'm buying Yahoo because of that. <laughs> well, yeah, and you've been bearish on Yahoo for some time, if I'm correct. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of froth right now, and I think that the, the music is going to stop eventually. I, I mean, a little bit of short squeeze and a little bit of decent numbers kind of pushed it up significantly. I think it's up like 50% in the last six months. Um, but I'm not buying now. I mean, anyone who's been riding the stock for anything else other than that Alibaba stake, I mean, it's just willfully naive. I mean, I, I love Marissa Meyer. I mean, as the father of two daughters, I love to see a competent CEO with a work-life work -life balance that's female. That's excellent. 
more power to her. But, um, you know, it's not any type of grand leadership change there. It's Asia operations have delivered more to the bottom line. And you know what? Just some pretty ugly numbers from China lately. So I'm, I don't expect that to last. Frankly, I think it's changed is the illusion of progress. You know, you keep throwing stuff out there to Wall Street and eventually, I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll bite. So. All right. Well, this week, Yahoo is our stock of the week on InvestorPlace.com. So if you want to read some more about it, you can head over there.